Hi guys, welcome back to Run It Over Garden Life. My name is Nina. Um, I've been kind of MIA here um, for the past few weeks. Um, I just kind of wanted to tell y'all my story as to why I've been MIA. Um, not because I wanted to, but because unfortunate events happened. Um, I want to say maybe about two and a half weeks ago, um, my last video that I had made, which was about the um, garage sale finds, um, I was struck with a really bad pain, and um, I just I couldn't get over the pain, and I tried. I'm usually a good. I'm usually really good at um, tolerating pain, so um, this time I couldn't. Um, I think it was about three or four days before I actually couldn't take it no more, and I went to the ER, and um, they ran lots of tests on me. The pain was excruciating. It first started off like... Um, in the middle of my stomach and then it radiated to the side of my stomach and then it radiated to the back of my of my left side and then underneath my belly um, to my pelvic area and then the pain radiated down about to my mid thigh and so Boyce, my husband, he loaded me up into the car and um, rushed me over to the ER. The pain had gotten so excruciating that I was in tears and I could not handle the pain at all. So um, they ran lots of tests, MRI, CAT scan, blood work, you name it, we did it. Um, I gotta tell you that COVID test was not my favorite test to take. It was, um, it was something that I do not wish for anybody to have to experience. I think that was the most horrific part of it all, um, including the surgeries that I went through. Uh, I had a ple more pleasant experience going through the surgeries than I actually did through the COVID testing. Um, that testing was brutal for me. But anyways, um, so we went through the testing and everything, results came in, and um, they said that it could have been, it, it's a great possibility that it was my appendix. Even though my appendix is on my right side, they were still suggesting that I should go ahead and go through the surgery. Um, the doctor had basically told us that if by any chance that my appendix gets worse that uh, no other doctor would want to touch me because for whatever reason it's too, um, I don't know, like he wouldn't want to, no other doctor would want to touch me because of the fact that I've gotten worse. I guess I would be at higher risk for um, surgery. So Boyce and I, we looked at each other and we're like, you know what, do whatever you have to do. And then they went on to tell me that I had a 16 centimeter cyst on my right ovary. So they couldn't do anything about that. And we tried to talk to the doctor about that. And he's like, I'm a general doctor. I don't handle those kind of situations, so you're going to have to find a doctor to do that. So, I wish the doctor would have had told the nurses or told his staff to find um, an OBGYN to help me with my cyst situation. Um, before actually going further in, but because for whatever reason he just insisted that that wasn't his field, 
and basically just left it on left it on me, left it on on Boyce and I to have to deal with that. And that was kind of frustrating because um, we went through the surgery. Surgery was fine, but I was still having my pain. Um, and uh, a day later, they sent me home. And the only thing they wanted to send me home with was ibuprofen. What was it? 500? And the people from the VA, and how I know this is because my husband's a veteran. And they give him ibuprofen 800 for his arthritis in his back. And they wanted to send me home with ibuprofen 500 for the pain that I went into the ER originally that didn't get fixed. So that was kind of frustrating. But luckily, the um, doctor that was the head of the head of the whole, I guess, the whole hospital. Um, the nurses went and, you know, and went and talked to her and told her, you know, my, my worries, you know, the fact that I was going home with ibuprofen 500 and which was nothing. Um, and this doctor basically just kind of did his thing and was ready to send me home and which I was okay with you know um, but the fact of the matter was that I was still in excruciating pain and not only that but because of my surgery also right so she put, went ahead and prescribed me some Tylenol 3 and stuff so I went ahead and went home with that and of course some antibiotics to fight whatever infection that could possibly arise with having a surgery, which is, you know, pretty much basic stuff, right? So I went home, um, they recommended me to an OBGYN that was in our area, but the fact of the matter was that our insurance was not in her was not in her um, in her network, so she recommended me to a different OBGYN, which was in Kingwood. Um, if y'all don't know, I'm in Texas, <laughs> so that was in Kingwood, Texas. So we went ahead and we went, and she was awesome. She basically um, did a quick exam. She read over my files. Um, she also told me what was going on what to expect um she went through the procedure that she was going to do she also told me it was actually up to me whether or not i wanted to go through the surgery later um i went on friday and then she told me on mon uh, monday would be the soonest that i would be able to go in for surgery and um she told me that was basically up to me of whether or not I wanted to go through the surgery since I had already went through one other surgery. And I really didn't understand the significance of that until everybody was making this big old hoop of hoopla about, oh my gosh, you went through one surgery a week ago, you know, and you're doing another surgery. Like I, I just, I couldn't wrap my mind around it. I, all I wanted to do was just get the surgery done. You know, I wanted this pain to go away. I wanted to go ahead and go through recovery. I just, I, I'm, I, was just, I don't like being in pain. You know, I don't think anybody really likes being in pain, but I mean, like, like I said before, I'm usually have a high tolerance for pain, but this pain was just excruciating. So, um, Basically, she gave me the option. She was like, you can wait a little longer until you heal up a little bit more. Or we can go ahead and just schedule you for surgery for Monday. And I was like, you know what? Let's do this. Let's go ahead and schedule schedule surgery. I just want to do it, get it over with, and just be done with it, you know? And so I went ahead and did it. And... Um, I don't know. 
um, that whole time that I was going through all that, I was praying and I was listening to my favorite radio station, which is Engine Radio. If y'all don't know it, I suggest y'all go online. They have an online listening um, where you can listen online to the music, which is Christian hip hop and R&B music. And I'm an 80s baby, so 80s is whenever <laughs> 80s is whenever hip hop and R&B were born, you know. And um, so yeah, um, and I don't know. I went through both surgeries with peace, you know. <clears throat> and um, I only told like a handful of people. I really didn't want um, a big fuss about it. Even though I know surgery can go either way, especially with me being anemic and um, and I have a, a tendency of getting infections really easily. I've always been a sickly baby. According to my mom, I was born premature and I was always just sickly, you know, um, have no tolerance for the heat. Um, I get heat exhaustion really quickly and... Um, with both of my kids, whenever I had my C-sections done, um, I had infections on top of infections on top of infections. So I was, I'm just always prone to that kind of stuff, which, you know, I knew, I know that stuff. But again, I just wanted to go through this and just get it over with. So we went ahead and went through surgery and um, it was like liposuction laparoscopic uh, surgery both times were um, well whenever she went in there she went ahead and told boys that um, the cyst had popped and the fluid was you know in there and everything and it had the cyst had um, actually twisted around my ovary and that my ovary was already starting to die so with that, I was like, well, thank God that I went ahead and opted to have this surgery, like, right, right now, right? Because, um, can you imagine what kind of, um, what kind of sickness or infection or whatever could have had, have had happened while I was waiting to recover from the last surgery? because my ovary was decomposing inside of my body so it was a good thing so she went ahead and went in and took out my left ovary along with the cyst and she also took out my tubes since I was I'm not in I'm not lucky to have any more kids which I had explained to her. I was like, you know what? If you want to take it all out, go ahead and just, you know, like this this whole baby factory thing is closed. And she's like, no, 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 we don't need to do that. So her left ovary is gone, along with the cyst. Now, from what I am getting, from what I understand, I think uh, ovary is anywhere from two to three inches. Um, and my cyst was quite larger than what they had said. It, um, originally they said that it was 16 centimeters or 17 centimeters. Uh, no, 16 centimeters, but whenever they went in, they realized that it was a lot larger. It was about 17 to 18 centimeters. That's anywhere from 6 to 8 in inches big compared to a two inch ovary, two to three inches ovary. So yeah, that thing was huge. And I'm glad <laughs> that it's out. And um, a few of y'all had um, actually reached out to me. Um, Tina from Striving from the Simple Life. Um, Deb from Deb's Way, and Peggy and Andy from um, uh, Paige's, Home, uh, Paige's Homestead, our journey back, 
thank you very, very much. Um, and Sunny DIY, Sunny, um, thank you guys. Thank you for reaching out and noticing that I was gone. That I was a mess. And I appreciate your prayers. And I appreciate your thoughts. And your well wishes and your encouragement. It meant a great deal to me. So, um, I'm sorry. I'm getting all emotional. So with that, um, again, I'm on the road to recovery. I'm walking around. Um, I can barely bend down to do anything. My garden is a hot mess. <sighs> um, but things are getting done as much as I can. The house is a hot mess. But um, soon I will be back to the way things were, hopefully. <laughs> um, I still feel a little weak. I still feel tired. Um, but slowly but surely, I will get back to the way things are. And slowly but surely, I will, pin I will be doing our videos. Um, it might start off slow, but if you guys don't mind, I still have a whole lot of other videos for you guys to watch. Um, we have a lot of cooking videos, a few gardening videos, um, and making drinks or beverages um, videos. If y'all don't mind, go down below and um, go through our, play our playlist. And we greatly appreciate your support. Um, and also, I know we've hit our 300 subscriber <laughs> Um, quite a while ago, but because of all the events that's been happening and everything, um, we had to kind of put that on hold. But believe me, I do have uh, a giveaway lined up for you guys. Um, but um, thank you all. And if I didn't mention somebody, I'm very, very sorry. Um, it's kind of hard to. Um, think of everybody that um, reached out to me um, but I do ask you guys to continue to pray for me and my family um, we we're gonna have some <laughs> medical bills now that we've got to pay and um, you know it's it's some very troubling times right now and um, I just got to give um, the glory to God for my health, you know, uh, even in the storms, I still got to give thanks, and I do, I do, I'm very grateful for the life that I have, and that the life that I live, and um, I will be having to go through some... <laughs> I will have to be going through some um, changes in my um, lifestyle um, as they were checking my blood pressure and I was on morphine. Um, they said that my blood pressure was still too high so I'm thinking I have high blood pressure and I don't know where to start with the whole diet and all that stuff. Um, so if anybody has any suggestions for that, please leave it down in the comments down below. Um, but I've been driving on too long. I think it's just because I've been away from you guys for so long. I feel like I have oodles and oodles of stuff that I need to say. Um, but, um, uh, I'm going to leave y'all here. Um, and I hope that you guys are all doing well. And I, um, wish y'all nothing but blessings in y'all's life and good health. Um, until next time, guys, love one another, be kind to one another, and pray for one another. Adios.